It's about time, DC. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Wonder Woman. Yes, everyone's doing this in their videos, but I thought I'd do it too. Yes, Wonder Woman is the, is the new installment, the fourth installment in the DC Cinematic Universe. Yes, this movie is directed by Patty Jenkins, who did uh, the movie Monster, which I was that on. Very good sociopathic film. And this movie stars Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, Robin Wright, and David Thewlis. And again, this is the story of Wonder Woman. Yes, this is a story about Princess Diana. Diana, or Diana Prince, as you like to call her, and she was raised in the Amazon and stuff, and she one day, when a fire pilot, played by Chris Pine, crashes in on the Amazon land, she has to help him and the humans fight in the First World War, and she thinks this entire war is caused by the God of War himself, Ares, so she has to go with Chris Pine and his troops and stop this war from happening and stop the God of War himself, Ares, and yes, this is a Wonder Woman movie, this is an origin story of Wonder Woman. This is the first big live action Wonder Woman movie and oh my god yes yes it's a great film yes this movie Wonder Woman is really freaking solid. I just got back to the first premiere tonight that I saw and yeah it's really late right now so I'm not talking overly loud because it's about three in the morning as of now and yeah I really enjoyed this movie. I thought this was fantastic. This is actually the first DCEU movie that is actually really freaking solid. Again, I don't hate any of the DCEU movies, but this is the only one that is actually genuinely a fantastic film. This is the best DC movie we have gotten since The Dark Knight. It's not better than The Dark Knight, but it is solid. Everything about this movie I freaking loved. Everything. This movie was so good. It was good on drama. It was good on action. It was great at this fantasy element that I absolutely adored. It had amazing comedic elements. There were some really cool, amazing, disturbing, realistic war sequences. I loved almost everything about this film. This is this is actually one of the best superhero movies that's came out this year. And this year is solid when it comes to superhero movies. Lego Batman was awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 was awesome. Logan was awesome. And now Wonder Woman is awesome. Every superhero movie that's come out of it 2017 is just solid and again this movie just knocked it out of the park. Patty Jenkins was a perfect and solid choice to direct this film. She was fantastic. Don't leave it in Zack Schneider's hands anymore because he tried twice and kind of failed. Patty Jenkins did a fantastic job. She directed this film amazingly well. She put a lot of bright colors and yes every like, one of these DCEU films are all dark and gloomy me and dingy with all these grays and blacks and stuff. It was really colorful, this film. The Amazon looks beautiful. This world where uh, Wonder Woman, where Diana grew up, it was just beautiful to look at. The cinematography was fantastic. The costumes and the production all look absolutely brilliant. I love how bright and colorful it was, but then it got dark and gloomy when she went to the human world. This is when World War I was happening. That was a very depressing, very dark era. So it makes sense for the colors to be dark and gray and gloomy. It fit well with the tone and style of the film. And yeah, it was really well done. The whole layout and structure, execution, and direction of the film all worked out brilliantly. And the performances, Gal Gadot. I, I, I've always been a fan of Gal Gadot. I thought she was great, even in the Fast and the Furious movie she was in. But she was one of the best parts of Batman v Superman. In this movie, she had to carry the film because she is the lead. She is Di and Princess Diana. She does a very good job. I thought she did a very good job. I, I thought she handled the emotional scenes really well. She did the accent very well. And she was really badass. Like, she really bought the badassness of Wonder Woman. And she looked like Wonder Woman. The costume, the lasso, the shield, the sword. She just became Wonder Woman. And she looked fantastic. She looked great. She looked the part. She looked like Wonder Woman. I felt like I was actually watching Wonder Woman on the big screen and looked fantastic. And her performance, again, was really solid. Chris Pine was also very good in this movie. Uh, David Thewlis was also good. Robin Wright's not very big in the film, but she was also really freaking good. I love the, the character arc they give Princess Diana, and I love the villain, uh, how she fights Ares at the end of the film. There's a bit of a twist on Ares, which I won't spoil, but 
I actually quite enjoyed it, and I actually did quite enjoy Ares as a villain. He's nothing compelling or very interesting, but he's pretty cool to look at, and he is pretty intimidating at times, and yeah, some people will probably have a big issue with the villains in this movie, but I actually thought they were done rather well. Even Danny Houston is in this movie, and yes, he's not Stryker in this movie. He's a different type of villain, and I actually didn't mind him. He was actually a pretty menacing villain at times, but yeah, he's like one of those typical like war villains and stuff, kind of like a, you know, one of those terrorist villains and stuff, but yeah, I even enjoyed uh, Dr. Poison. She was kind of cool. She had this really cool look about her and stuff, and yeah, and again, I like the team, the team aspect. Wonder Woman's team was a really cool and interesting and enjoyable, likable, enjoyable team. I really enjoyed this team in the film. And yeah, I liked most of the things about it. Again, I love the structure of this film. And again, there was a lot of comedy aspects because this is Princess Diana. She grew up in the Amazon and then she has to go into the human world. And that's like kind of a fish out of water story. And there's a lot of funny elements because she, this is the first time she gets to see lots of men and stuff. And this is the time when women weren't treated properly. There wasn't women equality and stuff. And how she stands up for them is really enjoyable and really fun to watch and stuff. And also, she learns about cars and guns and all that stuff, and it was just fun and enjoyable to watch and stuff. And again, and of course, the visuals. The visuals are fantastic. There's great CGI, fantastic effects and stuff. And yes, the action. The action is absolutely well done. It's well-directed, well-crafted action sequences. There's a lot of slow-mo, but it works really well. And there's that fast-paced action, and again, it works really well. There's no shaky cam or quick cuts. It's very crisp, very smooth, and very awesome, and really badass to watch it, yeah. I liked almost everything about this movie. There are a couple issues here and there. Again, I won't spoil it, because the minor issues I had with this movie, I would have to spoil elements of the film, so I won't do that, but there were a couple issues here and there that I had with Wonder Woman. But all in all, the movie itself is fantastic. I thought the score was great. I loved hearing the score again. The Wonder Woman theme is just awesome. That it's awesome. Just awesome. Again, everything I thought, most of everything in this movie was done fantastic. Uh, the writing was great. The direction was great. It was actually fun to see an enjoyable, great DCEU movie with color and humor and enjoyment and with great execution. And it's not Zack Schneider. So, always a plus. Petty Jenkins did an amazing job, and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. If you had any doubts about this movie, please don't. Go see this movie. Go see it three times in theaters. It is well worth it. I'm actually, no, well, I'm not really excited for Justice League because it's still, despite Joss Whedon being a part of it, part of it, it's still Zack Schneider's movie and stuff, but who knows, maybe Justice League will be good because this movie actually got me excited for some more DC movies because I actually love this film that much. So yeah, please go check Wonder Woman out. It is absolutely solid. One of the best movies of the year. It is so great. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Wonder Woman a 9.5 out of 10. So yeah. This is probably the best Wonder Woman movie we could possibly ask for. It delivered all the goods. If you're a Wonder Woman fan, this movie will frick. This movie you will just freaking adore. It's everything that you want in a Wonder Woman movie. It's so good. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Wonder Woman. Yes, Wonder Woman. Yes. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me what are your thoughts and opinions of Wonder Woman. What is the rank in the DCEU? I think this should be everyone's favorite. But what is it? What are your thoughts and opinions of this movie? Do you think this is better? Movies better than all the DCEU movies? Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.